Good afternoon. Okay, you're today here with you're Mr. Smith here with me, Mr. Today Smith. Today we're going to be going over learning how to write a proper way to write a meal paragraph. paragraph. Yeah, and that meal paragraph main is great for nonfiction writing. You want to start off with looking at your prompt. For our prompt today, we have how do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten in comparison to your peers? Remember, meal stands for main idea, evidence, analysis, and link back. It's a simple acronym. M E A L. Let's start off with our main idea. We're going to look at our prompt and think about our thesis. What do we believe about our prompt? Next, we'll move on to our evidence, where we want to find evidence that supports what we believe. Then we move to analysis, where we want to make connections between that evidence in order to show the reader why what we believe is true. And then finally, we want to go to our conclusion or link back so we can sum up our paragraph in order to really show how our main idea is correct. Again, we'll start up here with our main idea. And we want to respond directly to the prompt in front of us. What we have is, how do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 in comparison to your peers? Generally, the best way to respond to that prompt is to simply rephrase the question in front of us. Or, how can I turn the question into a response? Think about what the prompt is asking you and how you would then change that into a statement. Here, for example, we say, if I were to rate myself on a scale of 1 to 10 in comparison to my peers, I would rate myself a 10 because I never forget to turn in my homework. We've simply taken the original prompt and now turned that into a declarative statement. You can see that I've stated my opinion and it used the same structure that was originally in the prompt. This is a simple way to really introduce our main idea and then we can move on to the next step, which is our evidence. When looking at evidence, we want to ask ourselves this question. What type of fact can I use to prove my main idea? Or facts in general? What facts do I have access to that really reinforce my original idea? For example, here we say, in all eight classes, I turned in every piece of homework for the entire year, resulting in a 100% completion rate. I want to be able to check my fact by asking, can anybody argue with this? In this case, no, you could not argue with this. If you have a 100% homework completion rate, then it's going to be determined that is what you got. Now we have some facts to support our initial main idea. Again, we want to check and make sure, can anybody argue with this? If no, then this should be a strong fact that can support our original main idea. After you've put in sufficient evidence, you want to move on to the analysis section. Here you want to make connections between the evidence that you provided and your main idea by telling the reader how that supports your thesis. Ask the question, how does the fact above prove my main idea? In our example, we say, this was a much higher completion rate than many of my peers. This way, we can, through analysis, we're looking at that original fact, the fact that we had a 100% completion rate, and we're proving that this is something better than what most of our peers are doing. The statement directly compares my own work and the performance of my peers. Finally, after moving on from our evidence section, we want our, our evidence and then analysis section, we want to move to the conclusion or what we call our link back section. Here we want to sum up our writing 
and give the reader a one sentence conclusion that kind of wraps up our paragraph while reinforcing our main idea. Again, you can ask yourself, how can I conclude or wrap up my paragraph? What can I say that will finalize and thoroughly convince my reader? In looking at our present example, we want to make sure that we have a clean conclusion. Here we say, in conclusion, my ability to turn in all of my homework earns me a score of 10. Again, linking back to our main idea that we deserve a score of 10. 